Alright, I'm going to show you how you can use a controller like this. This is a Logitech Dual Action USB controller for NASCAR Racing 2003 season. Alright, so if you just got it and you don't know how to install it or anything, normally Windows will start installing it right after you plug it in, um, which it is doing right now. And this should take, you know, a minute. Yeah, that wasn't even a minute. It's done already. Okay, so now I'll just click on NASCAR Racing 2003 Season, and I'll show you how to calibrate the joysticks. Uh, these are called, they call them axis on the game. So, if you come across an axis, that's what it means. Okay. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Carry on. Alright. Options. So here's the controller tab. Controls tab, I should say. So make sure this says um, direct input. Uh, that's for USB. It says generic driver is not for USB or digital devices. So make sure it's on that. Um, then you need to calibrate. And um, you, what you do is you'll just move the um, joystick around like this and you can see it's moving it's calibrating so you want to move these to the far edges as far as they can go and then let go of it like this like you spin it around then you let go like that and then it's calibrated um, and then you just press OK um, now for steering uh, to steer left you just hit left with the joystick and it'll automatically assign it to an axis um, throttle will be this the brake will be this and the clutch I will make uh, we'll make it this cockpit look for left and for right okay shifting up We'll have it be one of those. Shifting down will be that. Okay, so, um, yes. And then you can, if you want, you can set it to your gears, you know, or whatever you want. Um, traction control. I am going to turn that off because I am using a joystick and you don't need that. And, um, that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, and I'll just show you here. Here's a little testing session. I'll try and drive with one hand. This is not easy. Oh no, I'm gonna wreck. Oh well. Anyway, get the idea. So, um, and that's how you do it. If you have any problems, uh, comment, and I'll try to answer them for you. I, I don't... If you're trying to hook up, like, a PS3 controller or an Xbox controller, um, you might have to download some special drivers for that to install that stuff, but, um, I'm not sure how you would do that exactly, so... Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll try and answer them for you.